Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jenna, and this little toddler over here is Kalia. So for today's video, we will be unboxing and reviewing the Amazon Fire HD 8 Kids Edition. So we just picked this up today, and we are going to be going on a little plane ride um, in the near future. So I thought it'd be great to just take this and test it out. Um, yeah. So what I'm really excited about this product is um, I chose it actually over the iPad, mainly because of her age, because she is only one, and this was supposed to be a lot more kid-friendly than the iPad. So I'm really excited to test it out and unbox it, and yeah, I'm just super stoked about it. As you can tell, I've probably said that like 30 times by now, but yeah, let's get right into it. So at the top, just to open it, there's just this little whatever you want to call that, little sticky. So once you open the box, it's pretty generic. There's no like cardboard, like extra cardboard or anything in it. So this is, I believe, the charger. So the charger is just a regular standard USB block and just a regular standard, um, what do you call this? A regular standard like Android charger basically that's all that is so the actual tablet comes in case already so I chose the pink one for her so it just comes in a clear little plastic so that's what this looks like so we are going to open it so here it is right now it is turning on and it's just loading so right here you can pick the font size um, so I think I want to make it medium. No, maybe large. Nope. Let's go with medium. So now we are just going to connect to my Wi-Fi. Okay, so we just connected to my Wi-Fi for the setup. My Amazon number. And then for the administrative account, it'll automatically be whatever um, Amazon account you use will be linked there. So here in the profile, you have home, books, videos, apps, web characters. So in the home, these are just stuff that I have already downloaded. The books and the apps you can use offline. The only content you can add from videos that you can play offline is stuff that you purchased on, um, on Amazon. So you can download stuff though and watch it offline, but it would have to be on the parent profile or you would have to switch it to your computer. The way it works is you click one, so we'll click that one, and it's going to download it. That's what's happening right now. And then when that download is ready, like there, you see it move right now. It'll pop up, and then you can just play it. All right, so the nice thing about this, too, so if you can see, it just, like, swipes. It's really easy and very kid-friendly. Um... So I'm just going to give that to her. We're going to check out one of the videos right now. So we're going to go to the main screen. And we're going to click videos. Whoops. So you can go to videos one of two ways. You can do the videos one. And it'll do it that way. Or you can actually go to characters. Whoops. She wants it already. So at the top right there, all we did was click videos, and we're going to load one of the episodes to check them out. Go ahead, pick one. What do you want to watch? You want to watch Bubba Guppies? So it's really nice. It looks like it's HD. See? How cute is that? What's really nice about this thing is that um, with an iPad, she used to always click that bottom home screen all the time. But this one, there is no real bottom home screen. So if she, like, touches the top or whatever like that, it won't, like, automatically kick, click out. It'll just go to that pause screen, which is nice. So, and all you're going to do... <laughs> so all you're going to do to change the volume, too, is... So she will not let me change this for anything. So all you're going to do... So all you're going to do for the bottom to change the volume is all you do is you click the screen and then you click the little volume button at the top and you can make it louder or shorter. So then if you click these three little dots, you can zoom or you can exit the playback and then this obviously will be for captions and subtitles. 
Oh, that's the same thing. So it'll be for subtitles and if there's another version like in Spanish or something. So we're just gonna click that. So that's what they look like. So we're just gonna exit out of that. So anyways, so you can also do web. So web, it restricts, let me show you. So it restricts them from going to certain sites. So I'm trying to go to Google right now, oops. I'm trying to go, and it also tracks what they try to send. So if they try to go to a certain site, it won't let them because it's a children's profile. You can go ahead and add um, websites if you wanted to. I didn't. And in here, these are just shortcut links to like YouTube videos and stuff like that. So let's say we wanted to go to this Care Bears one. See? And then all it does is it just loads right away. And then you can make it full screen. And that's it. And then over here you have characters. So this one's really cool. So like let's say Barbie. You click it and it will do all the books and then videos and apps that they have for Barbie. So right now Barbie doesn't have any apps or videos. But if we go to Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon has some apps and then these are all the videos. And then here's a third one. We'll just do Disney. So Disney has all these books. And then if we keep scrolling, oh, so Disney has all the books and then these are the apps and at the way bottom, it'll say videos, but they don't have any videos for Disney. So that's really it. Over here, they can click this and it'll enable the camera. So that's really nice. So it'll enable the camera for you. And then you just go home. And then the search button will search whatever you want. So I tested it out earlier and put like Max and Ruby. So it'll pop up whatever um, like books, apps, or shows that it has. And then it'll also search in your library stuff if you connected it to this account. So I didn't connect any. So all these results are just from the free time. And then we're just going to go home. So if you have a Kindle already or an Android, you pretty much already know how to use the parent profile. It's set up just like a regular tablet that you can go through. So that's really it. All right, you guys, now that I'm done with the demonstration on this product, I am going to give you my final thoughts on it. There are a ton of pros for this product right here. And... The main one being just how user friendly it is. So the kids profile it just looks it just looks great. It's so easy to maneuver and go through and your kids can't really like get stuck in all these different apps that you can get into if you had a regular Kindle or if you had like an iPad. So parental controls only go so far on an iPad in my opinion. And I feel like that's for a lot of older kids, kids that are more younger, especially like toddlers. Um, they need something simple, quick, and easy, and not just a bunch of stuff that they can click around and get into an app that they don't necessarily need. So that's really what I love about it. It's light, um, very durable. I would recommend getting a screen protector, but that's just for any tablet or electronic in general. So I definitely need to pick a screen protector up for this one. But I'm not too concerned right now just because the case is on with it. The biggest pro about this product is definitely the cost. It's so insanely affordable that you're kind of, it's a deal even when it's not on sale. You're getting a case for it on top of the tablet for only $129 plus tax. And I think that's just, I think that's great. I don't think you can beat that whatsoever. So what some people are getting confused with is the fact that it's a kid's Kindle. So because it's a kid's Kindle, they think there's, like, they can't access any other profile or it's basically stuck, stuck. It's basically stuck on this screen, which is not the case whatsoever um, because, as you can tell, you can do parent profiles and you can switch it, like I showed in the demonstration, and out pops a regular, what do you call it, a regular Kindle interface. So it's just like any other regular tablet, you just have that extra profile and linkage between, linkage, you have that extra profile and link between the two to be able to control it better. 
Another pro for this product would be the battery life. It's supposed to last eight hours, so that is also great. On top of everything else, if this tablet breaks compared to like if I got her an iPad, if this tablet breaks, I, I'm not going to say I'm not concerned whatsoever, but I'm not going to go cry about it just because of the cost. So if I spent five or six hundred dollars total on like an iPad mini or what or an iPad period and she broke it or water damaged it, I would be devastated, like completely devastated. But with this one, you know, if she breaks it, which I don't really see how she would break it other than throwing a bunch of water on it, which I really don't see happening because most of the time she drinks from a sippy cup anyways. Or if she's using like a straw or something, I'm like next to her watching her. So the odds of her throwing this in the toilet or in a pool without me knowing and really unaware of what she's doing would be really slim, in my opinion at least. Otherwise, I clearly wasn't watching my daughter. So the good thing about this, in my opinion, is the amount of parental controls that you have available to you, which is really great. So of course you have the generic like daily goals and time limit stuff that a lot of other tablets and places have. So then you also have the smart filters, which is smart filters is pretty genius in my opinion for whoever designed it because you're basically catering to more than one child obviously with many different age groups. So the fact that you can manipulate it to your child specific age group for content related to that that age, I just, I don't know, I thought that was really cool. And then in addition to that, you have, you know, the websites, web videos, you can add certain content, you can take certain content away, you can disable app purchasing. Just the amount of, like I said, parental controls is just really what I like about the whole thing. And what I also like is if there's a content not available in their, um, like in their profile, you can go into your pro that you can go into your profile and essentially like add whatever you want and just give it to their profile. All right, so enough with the pros, and now it's time to get to the cons, the stuff that really really bothers me. So the main thing that bothers me is how dirty and easily the screen gets. So I don't even have um, a screen protector on it yet. And I literally have only been playing with it to for this review. And the screen is so dirty already. It just is kind of just driving me insane how just dirty it looks. And I didn't even eat on it or anything like that. So you can only imagine if your kids are actually eating, playing, and then rubbing their hands, like eating a snack and rubbing their hands all over that. It's just probably going to get really disgusting. So another con I'm not too thrilled about. If you go into your video and then you go into your video library, you can only put videos that you've either purchased or transferred from your computer. Which that I'm not too happy about. So what I would appreciate is that the stuff that you actually can download from Amazon Prime if that stuff could be included in the video library and then transfer to the kids profile that would have been like the cherry on top for me at least that's really what I wanted I mean it's not a big deal for me to go into my profile so she can watch these shows so that was really the main thing that bothered me alright you guys well that is it for my cons and that's it for this video I'm honestly super excited to finish setting this up kinda like nitty gritty personalized personal bleh, I don't even know what I'm saying personalizing it a lot more um, just with like pictures and some videos and stuff so if you guys haven't already please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below for more videos and yeah I hope to catch you guys in the next one bye